it's just not going to work. So don't try to hire the worker. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Chat Time with DJ Hero Farming Simulator 19. Today we are on the Xbox One X and we are on Stone Valley. Today I'm going to be doing some fast farming. Uh, we're also going to talk about a couple things going on in Farming Simulator right now, including the uh, North Monte Company D11 Dozer, uh, A2 Square Studios TLX 2020 truck, horse extension by Farming Agency. We're also going to talk about West Newton Farm, the mat tour that we did yesterday, and the Hulk Plus Plus and Warrior Plus Plus updates. We're going to have a good time today. Um, and all in the background, I'm going to be... <laughs> you know me always like starting new games so uh i'm going to be attempting to start a new game here on uh Stold valley i'm going to be deleting some stuff that i know i'm just not going to be using and we're going to be setting everything up for fast farming you got that right we're going to be trying to set everything up for fast farming just going to delete a few things that i know i'm not going to need um i don't know if i would recommend deleting all this stuff if i were you guys but it certainly doesn't hurt honestly these are the only things that i would actually keep from everything, especially if you're on console and you gotta be doing fast farming. Oh yeah, hashtag fast farming, let's go. So I need to get the biggest combine that I could possibly get. That is going to come right here in the form of, I believe this one. Come on, load up, there we go. <laughs> we want the biggest baddest boy of them all, 22,905 liters. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> and then we want to get some big tires as well. Let's see, uh, Michelin's are probably gonna be the way to go. I want duels on here as well. Nope, nope, 100% yes. That's exactly what I want. And then I'm just gonna pick out a couple uh, clipboards and, and that kind of thing for the back. Honestly, these don't matter. Rear hitch, this could matter, but unfortunately the headers that we're gonna get need trailers and I'm just gonna pull them around anyway. Biggest pipe I could possibly get. We definitely want that. Um, and then rear axles. I like the extended ones. I feel like it gives you a little bit more oomph. It is expensive, but I feel like it gives you what you need. There we go. Totally maxed out. Nice. I like it. I like it a whole lot. And guess what? Yep. I'm not buying one. I'm buying two of them. We're trying to see if we can get through this. Um, and because we've got a couple fields, we're going to need corn headers as well. I need to find uh, tool height control for harvesters. Perfect. We're going to get one of these. And then we are going to go into corn headers. Now, unfortunately, there is no fast farming for corn headers. Little, It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, and then I just want to pick, this is probably what I want to go with here. There are some corn headers that we've got. These right here, 12.3 meter. Very good. Actually, you know what? Eight miles per hour versus six. Yep, I think, that, <laughs> I think this might be what I want to go with. Let's go with this. Let's just double check that real quick. Six miles an hour. Yeah, that's six versus eight miles an hour. Honestly, I think I'd be stupid not to go with this. Should we change that to yellow? I do like that yellow. Chopping dies. Let's see. Let's go with stock master. Lights. Always put some lights on there. Uh, attacher type. We'll just do standard attacher type. I don't really need that. Stock stompers. Though it's cool. Actually, how much do they cost? 11 grand. It's a bit pricey. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to get one of those. <laughs> oh. And then I think we're probably good there. We do have something to, uh, what is that? Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a tractor on here too. We might want to sell that eventually. So let's chat. Fast farming on consoles. A lot of you guys were saying that you're having issues, um, but the few people that messaged me and asked, you know, DJ, hey, I've got this. This problem's happening or this problem is occurring while I'm trying to play and it's just not working for me. Oop. And I need to put on my headphones. Oh no! There we go. I can actually hear what's going on now. I need to, totally forgot I needed to change a few of these things around traffic. We'll just turn traffic off for now, even though it's going to stay on anyway. You know what? Let's just do that. Uh, dirt. I'm just going to turn dirt off. I never do that. But hey, today we're going to do that and then help her buy all this stuff. We'll just turn all that off. Black Earth Fast. That works for me. Crop Destruction. We'll leave that on. On's fine. Periodic Plowing off. Lime off. Weeds off. Auto Save off. Perfect. So now let's just take these bad boys. One of them we're going to set on a worker. The other one we are not because it is a fast farming. Oh yeah, we're going to fast farm today. Now the thing about fast farming is don't hire a worker. If you guys are set up, don't hire a worker for doing the fast farm stuff. A, I showed this off yesterday. The worker is not going to do it. So just keep that in mind. Let's also turn that help window off because we don't need that. Um, it's just not going to work. 
so don't try to hire the worker. Um, they're going to work, they're going to get down to the end, and then they're just going to stop. The uh, Those headers are not meant for workers. And I know you may be saying to yourself, well, what if I want, I want to use the workers for that? No, not going to be able to use the workers on that, unfortunately. So just don't, don't worry about it, or you're going to have to turn them around every single time. And, and I don't think you want to do that. So just don't do that. There you go. You'd be perfect. Um, should I not? You know what? I'm just going to go through this. Goodbye. <laughs> Field three. I'm sorry. Let's get everything unfolded. Boom, boom, and good. This should be able to go for a little while. I mean, this holds 22,000 liters. Another thing you could do here if you want to fast farm this, get yourself a forage ha a harvester with the uh, Crone Easy Cut, I believe. Easy Cut or Easy Flow 600. Showed that off yesterday as well. Put a trailer behind you and just go. Maybe buy a couple trailers. Cool. There we go. Hire a worker. Worker's going to do a good job. Should go, yep, eight miles an hour. It's slow, but it's faster than zero, and we'll take that. Now's where we're going to have a little bit of fun because we've got Rye in this field right here. And I know a lot of you have said, DJ, this, it's missing spots, that kind of thing. Well, I guess we're going to find that out today, aren't we? We're going to work on this together. So fast farming console. Yes, it's awesome. It's a thing. It happens. You can plant now and you can harvest. Well, you've been able to plant since day one, but you could also harvest very good things there. Crash counter number one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if we can go over this car. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. What about the D11 dozer? Yo, the D11 dozer from North Monty Company. Absolutely amazing. That thing is insane. Have you guys seen that? Have you, heard, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? It is really cool. Do that. Drop that. Cruise control. You can see? We are just taking off now. Um, we are going to go around. We're going to hit this headland. We're going to see what you guys are talking about as far as missing stuff. I have found where the wheat is. So you can see a little bit right there. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it is what it is. We'll come right here. And you want to know why I missed that? Because there's a little sprig of wheat right down here on the end. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can jump out here and show you. Right there. A little sprig of wheat. What are you going to do? Boom. Got it. Let's see if this will allow us. So if you hit something like that, it is going to miss it. It just is what it is. But should start picking stuff up. Let's see. Oh, we're just not picking anything up, are we? Huh, interesting. Yep, that is a, a bit of a poo-poo. Let's see if we can go more towards the interior of this. Yeah, it's just not doing it. Let's... Header. Turn it off. Drop it. All right, well, that worked. Uh, that's not... I don't think that has anything to do with the map. I think that's a game mechanic right there. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the map or not. Um, just when you hit something like that, it's just not going to be very happy with you. I think that makes that makes a little bit of sense. But you can see, we're still flying by. We're still rocking and rolling. We're doing good. There is one field that I do want to get rid of, though, whenever we're in here. Did I say the D11 dozer? I did. We haven't even talked about that yet, have we? Let's get rid of field six. We don't need that. The D11 dozer by North Body Company. This thing is going to be insane. Dude has over 800 horsepower. It is crazy. It is a massive, massive beast. If you haven't seen it, I will link below. Uh, North Body Company, D11 Dozer, T-Bone. It's crazy. It is awesome. Uh, it is going to have a, uh, I think it's a, a plow shank in the back, as well as a three-point hitch they mentioned. So that is cool. We're going to have a three-point hitch on it. Uh, it's also going to have the dozer part at the front. We'll plow and cultivate. That's super cool. Uh, <laughs> so it actually, like, works, works. The, the piece of equipment at the front is going to be um, useful. Oh, yep, we have we hit. Just ignore all these huge straw swaths. <laughs> That's going to be fun to get together. Uh, but all of that, that is really cool. A lot of people were a little confused or concerned about it, asking, you know, what are we going to do with a, a dozer? It's just cool, man. It's just cool. <laughs> There's some things that don't have the place that you want, but North Bonnie Company have done a really good job of making it useful and doing that kind of thing. Let's double check this bad boy. He's doing all right. He's almost back. Looks like I uh, should probably get over there and help him out just a little bit. I think I've got crop destruction still on. We do on that field, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Let's grab this bad boy here. Let's go help him out. Open up, please. Oh, <laughs> I 
that'll do it right there. So that D11 dozer is going to be awesome. Next, the A2 Square Studio TLX 2020 truck. This truck's gonna have a lot of different functionality. And if you guys haven't seen it, of course, you know where to find it, link down in the description below. Uh, down there, I've talked to David and the truck is gonna have some cool features. He's made it two-tone now, so it's gonna have a uh, paint stripe more or less down the side. That is super cool. Uh, it is gonna have multiple I don't know if they're gonna be versions or modules. I do need to confirm that. Uh, regardless, you are gonna have different versions of that truck. So you're gonna have something with a dump truck on the back of it, a smaller dump, probably no more than, I don't know, 10, 15,000 liters, something like that. Uh, but that is going to be cool. At least that is going to exist. Let's bring this down eight miles an hour. There's two eights. Hmm, I wonder if it's the first one or the second one. We'll figure that out. Um, so that is neat, really cool stuff there. David's doing a really good job and he's he's uh, kind of pushing his uh, YouTube channel a little bit. So we'll have that link below as well for you guys to go check him out. Um, he's done a really cool thing, doing some live streams, showing the truck off, showing different things. I like it. I think it's some, some really neat stuff going on. Oh, it is definitely the first notch of, of eight. There we go. What do you think about that? That is a good look right there. Combine empties, a little bit slower than I would like, but it's still, looks to be like a thousand liters every five seconds something like that it's not terrible i don't expect it to be crazy anyway we'll just wait until it's emptied and then we'll leave them alone so there's your a2 square studios tlx 2020 truck as well as some goosenecks too but uh goosenecks are kind of not on the, the back of right now but he's pushing the truck right now he's working on the truck next up we've got <laughs> the farming agency horse extension now for the horse extension i'm actually gonna have to pull up because there's so much to this, I can't even remember everything. All right, so a farming agency has said that the release of the first Maze Plus horse extension is near. After the release on Mod Hub, they will update the uh, uh, partner maps. So maps like we're on right now. Uh, this is going to be PC only thing. We're gonna talk about some more console stuff after this, but um, this is very important. Oh, here we go. It's gonna do the thing. Yeah, it's just missing the wheat oh oh and it did the thing we'll back up we'll turn the turn this off i shouldn't try to read and do all this at the same time anyway it's not good for you drop it down we good we're good all right makes sense i know that stinks having to do that but it just kind of is what it is unfortunately there's not a whole lot you could do about that it's just a, a game mechanic that makes that happen um so uh, after the release they're gonna update partner maps uh, standing in queue, some of the coming features are going to be alfalfa, clover, horse grass, field grass, pasture grass, um, uh, mis mis miscanthus? I don't know, I don't know what that word is. Uh, Triticale rye, are also going to be spelt, onion, carrot, silage grass, or grass silage, corn silage, clover, and alfalfa silage, in addition to horse hay and horse silage. Yep, you heard that right. Horse hay and horse silage. Very cool right there. Um, they're going to do whole crop silage in bales as well, uh, which is something that's not, you just have grass silage right now. I'll tell you what, I got an idea on how to dump this. I'm just going to take it over to the silo and dump it straight into the silo. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, so you've also got grass, alfalfa, and clover are going to be having four stages of drying, which will also be seasons ready. That's crazy. Uh, fruit destruction 2.0. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of crop destruction, let's go through and, and destroy this crop that we uh, that we missed right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get out of here. Um, they're gonna have more on that coming soon, uh, but just know that there's gonna be a new kind of. Am I unable to destroy crop going backwards? Nope, just unable to destroy that crop at all. Fair enough. <laughs> so uh, really cool stuff there. Some new stuff coming. Complete overhaul of the feeding system and crash counter system. <laughs> Adjustable as you need and want. Obviously, you could do some of that already, um, but they're going to completely redo that. So that's kind of neat. Um, they're going to be globally implementing stuff to all DLCs except for the Anderson X wrappers. Get right here. We'll get this dump. So the Anderson X wrappers. Let's go over here to brands and let's find our Anderson, I believe... Yep, there it is. Um, and then the X-Wrappers. These guys right here, uh, the Extractor and the X-Extractor. Um, these guys right here will not work with that, so just keep that in mind. But you got stuff right here, like the Anderson wrap there. Um, if we go in 
let's see, bailing technology, take a look at a couple things that have come with DLCs. Uh, obviously, all of these loaders and stuff are going to work. The stuff from the Kloss DLCs and the Anderson, um, that is all going to work. And I believe it's all already working with the Straw Harvest DLC. That's pretty sweet. How we doing here? Let's go ahead and just get in line. We'll, we'll help him out. So that is really sweet as well. Um, and they're going to be increasing of the height types to 128 and the fruit type limit to 64. That is awesome. That's going to bring a whole lot more room uh, for doing not only custom things now, uh, but custom things in the future as well. Increasing that is going to make things a whole lot easier. Uh, and the bell type limit is gone. So that is good. Um, they're going to be patching patching that completely. So there's not going to be any more bell type limit uh, on PC, at least as of that. So feeding, forage, farming, FS19 2.0. Happy farming. More to come. Boom, baby. There's cool. Man, I'll tell you what, Alien Ball, thank you very much for sharing that. Couple other things I want to talk about. West Newton Farm and the Hulk Plus Plus and Warrior Plus Plus update. So as far as West Newton Farm goes, in modding was super gracious, very kind uh, of sending over an early look copy for that. I know he's worked with a couple other YouTubers and content creators as well, getting the word out about that map. Um, he's done a really good job, and I was very honored to be part of that group. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen West Newton Farm map tour yet, go check it out. It really talks about the new features that are going to be coming with West Newton Farm. And by new features, I don't mean like, oh, you know, there's going to be this, there's going to be that. Dude, there's three cow pastures, three sheep pastures, horses, pigs, and chickens. All animals, all base game standard animals are on that map. However... Not only are the base game map or base game animals featured on the map, but there's multiple all custom made objects. So you've got things uh, from NM modding, MJ modding. You also had Oxygen David and uh, Bullet Bill helping out with that map, as well as a couple other modders were super gracious to help with traffic, custom traffic on the map, things like that. And Dutch modding took care of that. And they're also going to be doing some right hand drive stuff, which I found really awesome. It's it's just a really cool map. I don't believe that it's going to be Maze Plus ready. I am going to talk to NM Modding. NM Modding, if you're watching, go talk to the Alien Paul, the guys we just talked about, the horse extension. Go talk to Alien Paul and Farming Agency. Get hooked up with them and, uh, and see what you could do about implementing that because that is going to be an amazing map to use those extensions on because you do have horses. Not all maps have horses. We take that for granted sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of you guys out there that really enjoy doing horses. I think it's time consuming. If I'm on PC, I really enjoy it, to be fair. Um, but on console, I just find it absolutely time consuming. Um, and I'm just not into it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are exactly the same. So I try to stay away from that if I can. But it is what it is. <laughs> I always say that, isn't it? <laughs> I love somebody yesterday's video. It was like DJ in all of his videos in 2020. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Dude, I've had so many, so many friends and ex-girlfriends. They're like, why do you always say that? It's so annoying. I'm like, because it is what it is. Leave me alone. <laughs> so Western Farm... Really cool stuff coming there. Um, it's based off of a, uh, a real-life location of NM Modding's Uncle's Farm uh, in Ayrshire, Scotland, which is super, super cool. So it's not only based off of a real-life location, but it also has some some meaning and some, some importance to him as well. So it's not just a, a random area that was picked. You can tell that from the map itself. When you're picking an area and you have no connection to it as a modder. I feel like sometimes some you know this little detail or that little detail could be left out and not in a bad way. Just kind of, you know, like, well, you know, I don't need to incorporate this you know certain part of this certain section. You know, I could I could do that later. I could do that another uh, another thing. This nothing was missed. NM modding did an amazing job. And it's just the pre-release version. It's not even the final version. And I'm extremely impressed. So I'm looking forward to seeing what NM Modding does with West Newton Farm with the release version. That's going to be absolutely incredible. And lastly today, let's talk about the Hulk Plus Plus and Warrior Plus Plus by Mods by 59 He has put together an update, which above all else is going to include a front three-point link. So you guys can run things like, well... A three-point leak on the front, which a lot of you guys like running. But it's funny, I actually don't see a lot of people using it. 
which is kind of interesting, but it is what, you know, it is what it is. Hey, I said it. Look at that. So Hulk Plus Plus, Warrior Plus Plus, going to get that front three-point link. They're also getting a shorter IT runner as well. So if you guys are using IT runner stuff, you're going to be getting that shorter module. Maybe you like to use a shorter module for some things and, you know, other things you like to use a full-size module. You could do that as well. On top of all the modules, you've got stuff from the D754 truck pack by AAA Modding and... Oh, compass. Stop. <laughs> Unfill. And block traffic. Yeah. Um, and on top of all of that... Yep, he'll go back one more time. Um, on top of all of that, you've also got stuff for the uh, the North Mining Company truck as well, the NMC Griffin. You're going to have stuff from the NMC Griffin on there. So you're going to have full compatibility and full customization to make these new Hulk and Warrior trucks worth it. Now, I, I believe I have both of them installed. If I don't, I've got at least one of them. Hulk Plus Plus, Warrior Plus. Okay, yeah, so we've got both of them installed. So imagine this bad boy right here with a front three-point link. And then when we go through configurations, of course, you know, we have multiple semi-truck configurations. Why does that change? Why do I have to do that? This is a thing I hate about consoles. You click one thing and then it just goes all over the place. You have to go back down go back to it so here is your big hook lift but this is the long version you put a shorter implement on here it's going to look weird they're going to have the shorter version on there as well that is super sweet not only that see i don't know if i've got the nmc griffin installed uh looks like i don't however it pretend like this is the nmc griffin back's completely flat you know that it's going to have uh, options just like that which i think is pretty cool uh, that is going to allow people to not only use the NMC Griffin, but maybe, just maybe, you've got an implement or some type of attachment that you really enjoy, um, regardless of which of those trucks it's from. And let's say you're playing on two maps. Let's say you've got, uh, just for example, this map and uh, uh, Stone, or Stone Valley, Sandy Bay. Let's say you got Stone Valley and Sandy Bay. Well, the... The NMC Griffin's not going to look appropriate on this map. Though it will do whatever you want whenever you want it, it may not be appropriate for an American-style map. However, it may be perfect for Sandy Bay, which it is. Um, so maybe you like a certain implement or attachment, but you just want to use two different trucks. You could do that now. You could use the same implement that you're used to on every single map, Plus, you'll be able to use the Hulk Plus Plus or Warrior Plus Plus on your American map. And then you can use the NMC Griffin um, or your D754 truck on a, uh, a different map, you know, European map or something like that. I think that's awesome. Gives you full customization and full, uh, full range of freedom to be able to do that. Not only that, I'm actually very impressed that Mods by 5.9 was actually able to connect with AAA Modding and North Modding Company to make that happen. Um, that can't be an easy thing to do, and I'm extremely impressed by that. So, yo, shout out to all of you guys. Tell you what, North Mining Company just seems to be coming up in everything that we talk about. <laughs> North Mining Company with that dozer and everything. There's some big stuff happening, man. Tell you what, there's a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of really good stuff happening in Farming Simulator 19 right now. And I think Giants have made the correct decision to put off farming sim the next farming simulator, whatever it may be. I think they've done a really good job in putting that off to the next oh, 97, 98, 99, 100. There we go. Um, full man, that thing is, <laughs> it is up there, isn't it? Um, so they've done a really good job of doing that. Giants have done a fantastic job putting it off, letting us kind of wait. And because of that, some mods that maybe wouldn't have been able to work on because still some modders are figuring out different things about farming simulator 19 coding and how to mod and that kind of thing i remember speaking to modders whenever 19 came out and they were like yeah it's totally different from 17. so these mod creators are having to learn totally new things it's so cool seeing big mods really cool mods like this guy right here <laughs> the big 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 combine Loving this. The fast farming stuff from DD Mod Passion. You know, these are mods that we would not have seen otherwise. They would have just said, well, there's no point in doing this for this game. We're just going to wait until the next game. 
that's super cool, man. I'm I'm just floored by the amazing amazing things that are going on in Farming Simulator right now. Not only that, but the fact that we've been on Xbox this entire time, and I've totally forgot. I mean, I use an Xbox controller all the time anyway. But being able to fast farm and that kind of thing, I feel like I'm playing on my PC right now. That's awesome. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Chat time with DJ. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the GoHam fam, and let me know if there's anything that I didn't talk about uh, that you want to talk about. Let's start the conversation down in the comment section below. I enjoy doing these videos because I don't have to focus on anything. I could just talk to you guys and talk about things that I think and my impressions of things that are going on in Farming Simulator right now. Um, and kind of, I lay it out in my notes like Farm Sim News, but I get to just talk. I really enjoy these. I hope you're enjoying them as well. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But with all being said, hope you have a great day. And if you've enjoyed the console gameplay as well, let me know. Um, I had a lot of fun playing on Xbox today. With all being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Oh, yeah. Peace.